We move now from the fields, the courts, and the pools of play to the kitchen feeding the fans. Sue, go ahead, take it away. Indeed we do, and Kelly Evans joins us. She's live in London with a great story for us. Hi, Kelly. Sue, hi. You know, ahead of the game, so much of the focus here was on security around Olympic Park. But, you know, today it's actually the safety of food that's increasingly in focus. 1,000 loaves of bread, 19,000 gallons of milk, and 250 tons of eggs will be served to the athletes in Olympic Village during these games. Overall, 14 million meals will be served at Olympic Park this summer. U.S. biotech company Life Technologies does the bulk of its business in DNA coding. But here in London, the company's machines are being used to test for bacteria like salmonella in the food that gets served to both athletes and visitors. The company provided a similar service at the 2010 World Cup. But here at the Olympics, where every nanosecond counts, success at the Games means running effective tests very quickly. The test that you use needs to be accurate to make sure if it's there you find it. It needs to be quick because you want to get a quick answer so you can stop any spread of infection and it needs to be easy to use and that's what we offer. The personal genome machine, the same equipment used for DNA testing, makes sure that the food served at Olympic Park is safe to eat and provides results four times faster than traditional testing methods. Outside of the sporting arena, these machines are in labs at universities, hospitals and food manufacturers around the world. In the meantime, the UK's Food Standards Agency is overseeing hygiene inspections of nearly 15,000 and food vendors throughout the country at a cost of one and a half million pounds. All this to make sure that those Olympic concessions are clean. Well, Sue, before the game started, there were reports that a couple members of Australia's badminton team had suffered from food poisoning while at their training base. But Locog says that facility was not one of the official London 12 training bases. So five days in, there have been no major food issues yet. The process seems to be working. And we should mention that even a company like McDonald's is not excluded from the food testing. Still, Life Technologies, which was the maker of those food testing machines, was out with earnings yesterday after the bell, and it lowered forecasts for the third quarter, citing a more conservative outlook for European operations. So the company's genetic analysis revenue, that, of course, being the main part of their business, was down 6%. Uh, still, though, in terms of the food safety issues over here, no major issues so far. And we hope that that continues. Kelly, thanks so much. It's good to see you.